in the network shown in the figure the switch is changed from position number 1 to 2 at t is equal to 0 and steady state condition is having reached before switching that means before switching only steady state is reached in the position number 1 find the value of i di by dt d square i by dt square at t is equal to 0 plus so before switching see the arrow mark it is down out here so before switching the switch was here so in this case this one ohm one amp is not connected to the circuit other end of one amp is one uh, n is not connected so we have to consider only outer side circuit this circuit no one entry uh, so in this position this is switch this is one position the 40 volts is connected because this is connected to one now so 20 ohms connected to the 40 volts and one uh, entry is not there because other end of one entry is not connected so that is you can remove it and this one capacitor and it is given that steady state is already reached steady state is already reached before switching okay i already told now so switching x takes place here at t is equal to 0 plus this is t is equal to 0 minus this is t is greater than 0 and uh, steady state is already reached in the suppose one more physical switch is there and if you click here immediately that capacitor acts as a short circuit and in this position only infinity time is reached then capacitor is already reached steady state in the steady state capacitor acts as open circuit and it is fully reached you can see the capacitor what t is equal to infinity what t is equal to infinity capacitor if it reaches steady state then it acts as open circuit because capacitor first initially it try to charge okay for example consider one switch is there consider one switch is there here like this and you close it and now capacitor at that point capacitor start acting as a short circuit and it will start charging towards 40 volts okay and steady state is already reached on the fully uh, it will be there in the connected to the 40 volt for longer time capacitor is fully charged to 40 volts now it acts as the open circuit capacitor acts as open in steady state in steady state is already in steady state already capacitor acts as open circuit and it is fully charged to 40 volts because capacitor if it acts as open circuit plus is at uh, this terminal is negative at this point terminal, so it is be at 40 volts okay initial voltage across capacitor is 40 volts that is before switching only and just after switching also vc of 0 plus is 40 volts because if you charge battery mobile battery and if you remove still it will hold that value so uh, capacitor voltage is initial voltage is uh, same as just after switching and what is the i of 0 minus i of 0 minus this is also 40 volt this is also 40 volts potential difference is 40 minus 40 so potential difference is 0 i of 0 minus is 0 or we can also tell that since the capacitor acts as open circuit current is 0 current is 0 means i l of 0 minus is i of 0 minus i of 0 minus is also 0 amps okay now let us go to the at t is equal to 0 plus what happens at t is equal to 0 means just after switching just after switching just after switching what uh, the switch is changing from position number 1 to 2 so it is changing from now 1 nala now it is changed to 2 so once it acts as uh, connected to the 2 see the uh, difference here now actually capacitor is there and it is connected to the inductor now now switch is changed here switch is changed to 2 so just after switching at t is equal to 0 plus inductor acts as what see the table just after switching inductor acts as open inductor acts as open and capacitor acts as short circuit but if any initial voltage is there uh, if any initial voltage is there if any initial voltage is there just after switching it acts as voltage source so coming to this now 
just after switching at t is equal to 0 plus just after switching resistance remains resistance only okay inductor acts as open capacitor acts as actually short circuit but here it is already charged in the i of 0 minus only capacitor is reached steady state and it reached initial voltage of 40 so now it is acts as a voltage source of 40 okay with plus there and minus there now you have to find out i of i of 0 plus since even though capacitor acts as uh, voltage source resistance is there inductor acts as open circuit so inductance open here okay inductor acts as open l acts as open at t is equal to 0 plus capacitor acts as short circuit but there is an initial voltage of 40 volts this 40 volts initial voltage capacitor acts as voltage source of 40 volts if uh, capacitor is not charged it acts as actually short circuit but it now it is in the steady state already capacitor reached 40 volts and uh, its capacitor initial voltage is 40 so it is replaced with 40 volt source but uh, still circuit is open so i of 0 minus is 0 amps i of 0 plus is also 0 amps next we have to find out di by dt for di by dt for t greater than 0 you have to write integral differential equation for t greater than 0 apply kvl switch of voltage law for this circuit with position number 2 only don't consider position number 1 it is eliminated after switching for t greater than 0 it is equivalent circuit you have to consider uh, l c and r right differential equation so 1 into di by dt l into di by dt so 1 into 1 into di by dt l that is l into di by dt r into i of t r value is 20 into i of t 1 by c c is 1 micro and uh, 1 by c means 1 by reciprocal of 10 power minus 6 is plus so 1 by 10 power minus 6 is uh, in the numerator only plus 10 power plus 6 okay 1 over c is 1 by 10 power minus 6 is equal to plus 10 power 6 okay now 1 by c integral of i of t dt so this is equation number 1 at t is equal to 0 plus at t is equal to 0 already di by dt term is there already di by dt term is there just after switching uh, uh, this delta t is zero actually okay because just just at an instant when you are considering there is uh, no delta t so this is zero di by dt term is there so we have 20 it only so i of t value okay mm. Mm. Uh, we have to consider 40 volts one minute okay we can consider this is actually vc of 0 minus okay vc of 0 plus vc of 0 plus is already 40 volts now we can write 40 volts or this is vc of 0 minus this is di by dt this is a drop across the system this is voltage of capacitor at zero plus uh, this is a voltage across capacitor or you can write one more thing here capacitor and with uh, initial voltage of 40 you can write here delta t is zero that term is zero but this 40 will be there now plus 40 you have to write here plus 40 you can write here or you can consider uh, without writing this 40 volts write this term and uh, at t is equal to 0 plus this you have to whole thing you have to consider as initial voltage across capacitor okay or you can write here capacitor with uh, initial voltage of 40 volts also you can write here okay so now uh, i of at t is equal to 0 plus i of 0 plus is 0 okay i of 0 plus is 0 and uh, this 40 if you bring it to right side it becomes minus this is 0 because i of 0 plus is 0 and di by dt is equal to minus 40 ampere per second to find uh, uh, d square i by dt square you have to differentiate this equation once again 
d square i by dt square 1 into d square i by dt square 20 into di by dt 10 power 6 integral and differential it can cancel di by dt plus 40 will write now that plus 40 in differentiation of that constant is equal to 0 so is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 plus substitute t by a 0 plus 20 di by dt di by dt 0 plus value is 40 okay so this is d square i by dt square plus 20 into minus 40 plus 10 power 6 into i of 0 plus is 0 this one is 0 this one is 0 20 into 40 is 800 minus 800 if you bring it to right side it becomes plus 800 so this is 0 this is minus 20 minus 40 is equal to plus 800 okay you can see the answer in the textbook also you can see the answer in the textbook let me check vc of 0 minus is 0 vc of 0 plus is 40 okay 40 greater than 0 right kbl l into di by dt minus 20i or you can write this is plus plus 1 l di by dt plus 20i plus 1 by c integral of i of dt and this capacitor is replaced by capacitor and a 40 voltage initial voltage source okay at t is equal to 0 plus di by dt of 0 plus is equal to 20i this is delta t is 0 no so this part is 0 and initial voltage was 40 here and di by dt is equal to uh, i of 0 plus is 0 i of plus 0 plus is 0 this 40 if you bring it to right side becomes minus 40 and differentiate that equation once again uh, d square i by dt square plus 20 di by dt plus 10 to the power 6 i of dt differentiation of 40 is 0 then i of 0 plus is 0 and d square i by dt square is equal to minus equal to minus 20 di by dt 0 plus it is equal to minus 20 into minus 40 is equal to plus 800 amps per second square this is very very important problem most repeated problem in the exam if you can note down this is very very important thank you